What's going on guys? This is Chris from Editor Tricks and today I'm going to show you how to create a drag and drop video background in your Weebly site. Okay, so uh, this video tutorial will follow the written step-by-step -step tutorial that can be found on Editor Tricks and I will post a link to that written step-by-step -step tutorial in the description of this video. Okay, so why create this tutorial? Two reasons. Uh, the first is that um, video backgrounds in Weebly um, only come with paid Weebly plans. Okay, so if you have a free Weebly account, you don't have access to Weebly's video background feature. Number two, um, I get a lot of clients um, who want uh, their we their uh, their video backgrounds to play on mobile devices, and unfortunately, uh, we can't access the coding for Weebly's video backgrounds. So uh, this allows them to um, have their video backgrounds play on mobile devices. All right, so. Let's get started. All right, so here's an example of our video background that we created in our demo site. Okay, as you can see, it, it, it uh, plays on a loop and it plays on mobile devices. Okay. All right, so step one, so we gotta get or create a video. Okay, so I already have a video. I'm gonna use a video that I found on Pexels. So obviously it's gonna be this one right here. Um, you can create your own video as well. Um, if not, then you can just grab a stock video from either Pixabay or Pexels. Okay. Step two, open Weebly's HTML CSS editor. Okay, so go to theme at the top on the, and on the bottom left, click on edit HTML forward slash CSS. That'll give us access to the back end there. All right, step three, upload our videos. All right, so to do that, All right, so we're gonna, first thing we do is we're gonna come over here to assets on the left, click the little plus icon, select new folder, and name this folder videos. And click on the outside of it so that it saves. All right, and then to the right videos, click on the little gear icon, click upload files, and then select your video. All right, so we'll give that a few moments to upload here. All right, and uh, our video is uploaded. Step four, create a page layout. All right, so we need to create a page layout, page layout specifically for the video background. To do that, go to, on the left here, go to header type, um, select header.html on the right here, select all of the coding within this file, copy it, go back to header type uh, on the top left, to the right, click the little plus icon, select new header type, and type in video. So this uh, page layout is going to be called uh, video.html. And then click on the right to save it. OK, now all of the coding within this new file you can delete and paste in the coding that you copied from the header.html file. All right, step five. Now we need to add some HTML coding. All right, so copy the HTML coding that is in the written tutorial here. Okay. And within the video uh, page layout that you just created, locate your banner coding. And for this particular theme, of which we're using Cento, uh, that coding is located right here. So uh, delete that coding and replace it with the HTML coding that you copied from the video tutorial. All right, so that's a bit sloppy. I'm gonna bear with me here for a second as I tidy this up a bit. All right, there we go. All right, and just a little quick tidbit. Um, if you do not want your video background to play on mobile devices, then remove this uh, text right here that says plays inline. So you just delete that. So it would just like that. 
All right, but we want our video to play on mobile devices, so we'll put it back in. Plays in line. All right, so step six, we need to add our video file. Okay, so do that. Uh, we will locate our video file that we uploaded, which is right here. Grab the file name of that video. Go to our video page layout that we created. And right here, we're gonna paste in the file name of our video. All right, step seven, we need to add some CSS codes. So copy all the CSS codes within the written tutorial here. Okay, and on the left under style, select main.less. And on the right, scroll down to your banner coding. All right, so here's where the banner coding starts and uh, directly below it, we're gonna paste in the CSS codes for the video background here. All right, and if you see any of these little red dots, you can go ahead and delete them. You don't want them in here. And we are looking good. And click save. All right, so we're back in the Weebly editor. Okay. Step eight, so we need to uh, apply our video background now. So we're going to apply our video background to the home page for our demo site. And to do that, we go to pages at the top, select our home page, which is already selected. Under header type, select the drop down and choose video. And it is normal for the video background to not appear in the Weebly editor as the, the uh, Weebly editor, editor can be a bit temperamental sometimes, uh, most of the time. <laughs> All right, uh, step nine. So now we can start uh, dragging and dropping our elements in there. So to do that, go to build at the top and we'll start building our content here. So it's a video background. This is a drag and drop area for Weeby Elements. And we'll throw a button in here. We'll say, learn more. And spacing. All right. All right, so uh, according to the tutorial, we are done. So let's publish that and see how our video background turned out. And there it is. Actually, what I'm gonna do, and this is a little uh, bonus tip. Um, if you want your video background to be taller, then just go ahead and add in uh, some spacer elements here. And I'm gonna add two on the top and two on the bottom. Each one of these spacer elements is 50 pixels. So adding two on the top. Uh, it's 100 to the top, two on the bottom, uh, 100 as well. So we'll publish that. That'll add a little more height to our video background. Okay, refresh that. And there we go. All right, so I got some uh, additional information here for you. All right, so let's say you want to adjust the opacity of the video background's overlay. So to do that, you would just adjust this coding here within the CSS file that you added. I'm sorry, within the CSS code that you added. So to do that, go to theme, edit HTML, forward slash CSS, locate our CSS codes for the video, and right here, so this code right here, uh, the last number you're going to adjust uh, for the opacity, so we'll do uh, 0 0.5 opacity. Click save, I will publish that, and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so here's what it looks like before, and it's gonna get darker once I refresh the page here. All right, so now it's at 0 0.5. That's what that does. And additionally, um, you can change the color of it, and you can do that by adjusting uh, this code within the CSS file. So that code is over here. So go to theme at the top, edit HTML forward slash CSS on the bottom. Locate our video background code again. It's right here, and we're gonna make it pink. 277, is it was at 144? No, 255, 177. 
155, 177. Click save, publish. And give that a quick refresh. And there we go. All right, guys, so that is how you create a drag and drop video background in your Weebly site. I hope you found this video tutorial to be useful and I will see you in the next video.